Great news. Looks like your dad is going to give us a shot at flying for real after all. Aaron is going to test us out. So we must not blow our big jam. Ace, I've got our instructions right here. Click on my holo projector to see them. You ever had experience when you wake up and you try to put a belt on and one hole is too tight and the, the next one is uh, too loose? Yeah, that happened to me. Hello, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars X-Wing Alliance. And it sounds like Dad has uh, something for us to do, so I guess uh, he's got uh, me and Sis doing something, so let's uh, find out what exactly he wants us to do. Actually, ooh, hang on, before we do that, let's check our email, why not? It's been a, a few more minutes in the uh, simulator there. All right, let's uh, sort these by ascending order. All right, so there we go from AllianceNet. Welcome. Welcome to Alliance.reb, the lar largest network service in the galaxy. Your account has been processed and is now ready for use. To solve problems, contact troubleshoot at Alliance.reb. To create problems, contact, va contact Vader at Imperial.emp. <laughs> HVLI, human, and other resources. Alrighty. Iman, now we're flying. Okay, hotshot, I've been waiting for you to get behind the stick. Now you're really now you're really going to grow up fast. It's nice space out there, kid, but with a little practice you'll increase your odds of survival. By the time you get this message, I'll already be on my way back home to take you for a couple of introductory runs. See you then, Emon. Alright. Alright, and let's see. Let's see. Iman's coming back home. All right, so hey, little brother, from Aaron. If you need help, from, hey, little brother. Now that if, now that you're hooked up for email, I don't think you're too macho to ask for help when you need it. In other words, don't be like your brother Iman. <laughs> I'm always here, Aaron. Okay. Alrighty then. So let's uh, find out what we uh, what Dad has in store for us. You've spent enough time playing simulator games that Dad is convinced it's time to put you to work. He asked me to take you on a delivery run to Harlequin Station. We've got a couple of cargo canisters to transport there, and they have some supplies we'll be picking up to bring back. We'll be using the YT-1300s. I'm taking the Silu. You can fly the Sabra. MK will accompany you as your co-pilot. All you have to do is follow me and do what I do. We're picking up fuel cells and coolant. Dad was pretty emphatic about not forgetting the coolant. It's for the Otana. If everything goes smoothly, you'll be working solo in no time. Yeah. You will fly the Sabra, one of our family's modified Corellian YT-1300 transports. Aaron will fly an identical ship, the Silu. Each of you is to pick up a cargo canister of supplies. Okay. The cargo canisters are to be delivered to Harlequin Station. There you will pick up some fuel cells while Aaron picks up a container of coolant. Okay, we're getting the fuel cells. These supplies are to be brought back to Azamine home base. I will be your co-pilot, and Aaron will be in overall command. So do exactly as she says. You will fly the Sabra. Right. Sounds simple enough, I guess. Let's go. Corellian There's no real reason to expect any combat, so... Alright, let's just head on out. cargo canisters right in front of us. I'll take the one on the right, and you take the one on the left. Press T to target the first cargo canister. Slow down to a crawl as you come in above it. Initiate automatic pickup. Shift P when you are within 0.2 clicks. Great. Now target the nav buoy, and key, and head toward it. Once you're within 0.5 clicks of the buoy, we can make the jump. So, Aaron, your friend Olin hasn't been around lately. Why? I didn't want to say, but he's he's joined the Rebellion as a pilot. Really? Wow. We should do that. I bet one of us could be the next Luke Skywalker. Who? You know, the guy in the bootleg holo Olin showed us. The guy who took out the Death Star at the Avon. Well, I hate to rain on your parade, MK, but I don't think the Alliance is accepting droids as pilots. Notice how we picked up the uh, when we picked up the canister. Hit the space bar to initiate the To the left of the cockpit. Remember, we're in a YT-1300, which means 
the cockpit is on the f on the right side of the uh, ship, so just keep that in mind. Here we are at Harlequin Station. Let's deliver the supplies. Hello, Azamin Transports. Thanks for the quick service. No problem. Please deliver the cargo canisters to the docking platform. Just watch where Silo drops their canister, then do the same. For delivery, you must engage the auto docking procedure. Approach to within one click of the station and press Shift D. Sweet. Now drop XI1 next to XI2 and we'll get what we came for. Alright. Incoming vessels are on an attack vector. It looks like these newcomers mean trouble. System Patrol Craft Corps is abandoning us. They must have been bought off. Azami Transport, we request your assistance. Harlequin Station, what can we do? These Baraksha have been threatening us for a while. I didn't think they had the guts to try something like this. I am sure they were not expecting a fight. If you move to intercept, they'll probably back off. They have activated their weapon targeting systems. I'm not sure we should get involved. I say we fight. We can run rings around any Varaxo pilot. Dad's been trying to reach an understanding with the Varaxo. Hey, hey! Attacking craft! Dead ahead! Someone needs to tell the Varaxo then. They are attacking us! Alright, I'm convinced! Let's teach them some manners. What do you, as mean fools, think you're doing? This is a private matter you do well to stay out of. Well, we're involved now. I'd back off if I were you. You won't get away with this. We'll be back. Be grateful we're letting you go, and do yourself a favor. Don't let us catch you around here again. Oh, hello. I guess they aren't gonna leave. He's up, Ace. Let him go. I think they got the message. Looks like we have them on the run. We are victorious. <laughs> Calm down, MK. Don't gloat. The smart thing was to avoid a fight. Let's just get home safely and report this to Uncle Anton. Thank you for your help. We owe you a very big favor. G2 and I3 are the containers we want. Okay. We must go get them. G2, Pi 3, which one's which? Pi 3, fuel cells, that's what we need. So yeah, as you can see, uh, some missions do have bonuses, and uh, those are the uh, two bonuses for this mission, so there we go. Uh, I guess Yvonne wasn't kidding when he said uh, it's a little more dangerous out here, so... Maybe we shouldn't be so hasty to uh, dump lasers. <laughs> or laser power, but yeah. The whole idea of the, getting these bonuses is just basically getting out to them as quickly as possible so you can inspect them. Oh, hello, slow down. And I want to pick them up. <coughs> Pardon me. We have the fuel cells. I've got the coolant. All right. Target the nav buoy and let's head home. Right, so long, for... Harlequin Station. Don't want to hit anything on our way out, especially considering we got fuel cells. Could explode if we hit the wrong thing with the wrong ankle. Yeah, any spark. Yeah, let the uh, lasers charge up while we're in flight. <coughs> Pardon me. shields anymore. Fully charged. And now we gotta delete I guess set these on the, uh, the platform there, the docking area.
Street. And yeah, there did hers. Sweet. Job Good well work. done. You're clearly ready to conduct transport operations. Dad and Uncle Anton will be pleased. Ah, oh, shucks. Well done. I think Dad will have to agree you're ready to go to work. That mix-up with the Varaxo was an unpleasant surprise and a reminder that you have to be prepared to fight now and then. <laughs> yeah. Harlequin Station's director owes us big time. Yeah. All right. I'll leave that up to, to Dad to sort out. But anyways. Uh, so there we go. Completed in 7 minutes, 16 seconds. Mission score, 250 points. Bonus score, 300. There we go. No kills, no assists. But, uh, that's fine. No blood hey, on our hands. You really performed well in that last mission. Thanks, MK. All right, so Great guess... job, Ace. We have earned another chance to show what we can do. This time with Emon. Oh, hey, it sounds like Emon's back, so I guess we'll have to, uh, go see what, uh... Let's see what he's been up to and uh, what he has in store for us. Well, obviously, what he's been up to is completely un up to him whether he decides to tell us or not. But, uh, yeah, we'll uh, go see what uh, he has uh, in store for us next time. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit the like button on your way out. Uh, be sure to hit, this, uh, hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. And uh, remember to hit the bell icon as well to be notified whenever I upload uh, by YouTube whenever I upload the next video. And you can follow me on Twitter for any channel updates, or should YouTube fail to notify you of when I upload the next video, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Intrepid83. Take care, be blessed, share this uh, video or this series with anyone you think might enjoy. Kindly asking that you do not spam other YouTubers or other content creators with it uh, in their channels or in their videos. Take care, be blessed, and have a good one.